Oh, thank the gods I found you boys. And what will you do with us now? Why, grant you safe passage, just as I said. Pretty generous offer for an Imperial. Calm now. Is it fair to begrudge a man the circumstances of his birth? Well, no. I guess not. So, what do we do after he drops us off? Go get the car. Can't leave her unattended for long. Chancellor, if you truly wish to aid us in our efforts, then I request you release us this instant. This instant? It's a long way down. Perhaps the army could break your fall. Or perhaps you could simply sit back and enjoy the ride. You needn't worry. You're in good hands with me. Here's hoping you find that car. Commander Ravis Nox Foray issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind the Citadel attack have taken refuge in disguise. The blockades shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. The frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Clean regions in recent days have finally quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. The cause of the tremors was the Archean, who had awakened in a fit of rage. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest, thus averting disaster. Eyewitness reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the Disk of Kothis. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we despair. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. Then maybe we could ask Arden to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. So where does that leave us? Stranded. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. In the meantime, we'll have to hoof it. Look, it's Umbra! Someone's sending us a message. blessing. Will the path to the stone be opened? The oracle goes hence in her king's name. Luna, where is she now? The eye of the storm. <sighs> when the covenant is forged, the oracle and ring shall await their king at the walls of water. Stray not from the path. She's a messenger, a spirit, faithful to the Oracle. Uh, for real? <laughs> We're going beyond real now, pal.
Let Luna know I'm okay, and she won't have to wait much longer. We'll be together soon. The crystal was gifted to mankind, that we might know lasting prosperity. If the crystal belongs to everyone, how come only Lucis gets to use it? The kings of Lucis do not simply use the crystal. They also protect it. Wait, so my dad's guarding it? Yes. I had no idea. To crown the King of Light is the calling of the crystal. And keeping the crystal safe until that day falls to the line of Lucis. And I'm the chosen. Yes, only the true king, anointed by the crystal, can purge our star of its scourge. You really think I can do that? As Oracle, I will see to it. Hmm? To aid the king is the Oracle's calling. Then... I guess I can do it. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Unto the king alone this voice is heard. To follow the words is to follow the chosen path. Bridging heaven and earth it strikes, the storm's ephemeral yet eternal light. To the light must go the king. Lady Lunafreya has done well to keep the ring from falling into enemy hands. All we need to do is hit Altitia. That entails passage aboard a ship. Kaim may serve us now as it did them then. The hidden harbor. <laughs> Just my work. I'll have Iris set it up. So, in the meantime, we head into the storm. Another day, another deity. So what'll it be today? Grab some grub before you go? How about some geese salt chips for the road? Can do. Hope y'all came hungry. I'll come back soon. <laughs> Easy now. Right behind you. First Titan, now Rama. Chasing down deities is hard work. Think how Lady Luna Freya must feel. If the string of the rites is as Gentiana suggested, I fear she's far less off than we are. <laughs> How come that lady's helping you out anyway? Gentiana? Knocked! Overhead! Hut! So is Gentiana, you know, human? Not quite. While not exactly gods, messengers are divine entities. 
Just like the Oracle speaks to the gods for the people, the messengers speak to the people for the gods. So she's Lady Luna Freya's partner in Divine. Now. Eyes peeled, mouth closed. I'm going on ahead. for the ride. Hmm. <gasps> ah, the young prince is recovering well. Who? Gentiana. My messenger. The prince has read of our kind? Oh! I tried to, but I only know what Luna told me. Hmm. Lady Luna Freya. Yeah. Luna f for Luna. It is heartening to see the future king and the oracle enjoy such familiarity. The fate of our world may depend on it. I remember back in Tenebrae with Gentiana. The revelation of the Storm Sender awaits the king. Hurry hence to the eye of the storm. Foreign hordes fear the true king's ascension. The fearful seek to seal the path of what must come. What is it? Another headache? I heard her. Gentiana. Divine voices in your head again? Hopefully it won't amount to the same headache it did with the Archean. Iris's story about Lady Luna Freya coming through town was true after all. Judging by the timing of her visit, she probably set course for the Archean as soon as she fled the Ground City. <laughs> you really owe her big time, Noct. Can't wait to thank her in person. Yeah. 